Hey, Coach Mills here, coming at you with a brand new Overwatch video. And in this video, I gotta break down a lot of crazy things. We gotta talk about the BlizzCon 2021 that is actually coming up. Online BlizzCon, where they're gonna be making a special announcement about Overwatch. We're gonna break all that down, because that happens in roughly eight days. And we gotta talk about Overwatch 2, what we expect to see at BlizzCon, and is Overwatch going free to play? We're gonna break all that down, so make sure you watch at the end smash that like and subscribe if you enjoy the content but it's never been a better time to climb the ranks of overwatch with our special 50 percent off valentine's day sale i can think of no better way to spend your valentine's day than popping your diamond cherry climbing to masters grandmaster and beyond because we have in-depth advanced guides vod reviews tips and tricks over every single map and character to give you all the tools that you need to climb the ladder with ease so do yourself a favor and don't miss out on this amazing 50 percent off opportunity in the links down below but Without further ado, let's jump into the video. So let's kick this off right off the bat. When we first started hearing official information about Overwatch 2, it actually came from a pretty unlikely source in Metro, who's an Overwatch streamer, soldier one trick who terrorizes rank. No, all joking aside, Metro typically has some inside knowledge about the game because of his contacts and his connections, and he has heard quite a few things about Overwatch 2, and he had this to say about the game, roll it here. Any thoughts on Overwatch 2 release? I heard they're really slow at developing it. From what I heard, it doesn't sound good at all. It sounds like it's it's very far off. I think the new he hero teaser? What do you mean new hero teaser? There's not gonna be a new hero for Overwatch 1. They, they're probably... Okay, here's, here's a thing. They're probably gonna show a few new heroes at, all, uh, at BlizzCon. That's the main thing we're gonna get in terms of multiplayer. Because there's not much else, else to show. Now, ultimately, Metro says two really important things here. First, that Overwatch 2 is not even close to done, and that it's likely that Blizzard will show off a few new heroes at BlizzCon. Now, most of you have already heard the fact that Overwatch might not be here in 2021, but let me definitively give you some more information about when it's going to come and all the stuff you need to know. You see, there was a follow-up tweet right here that ultimately clarified the situation, stating that Overwatch 2, in an earnings call, is not expected to come out till 2022 along with Diablo and that is freaking insane we literally expected Overwatch 2 to drop in December and we're not going to be getting it until the entire next year not 2021 but 2022 and remember they played the freaking beta for Overwatch 2 back in 2019 absolutely mental so it's pretty unlikely that we're going to be seeing Overwatch 2 anytime soon and on top of that the Genji voice actor for Korea hasn't even started recording his Genji voice lines, which is really, really bad. We might not even see Overwatch 2 at the beginning of 2022. It might be the middle of the way through. I am not hopeful at all anymore. As someone who really thought that Overwatch was going to launch, the Overwatch 2 launch was going to coincide with the releases of consoles, or at the very least, the beta was going to coincide with the releases of console, and then we we're going to get like a full release sometime around now, and that just got shattered more than likely because of COVID, or some other factors regardless of what happened we are not expecting to see overwatch 2 at all and that's really sad to say the least because a lot of us are really feeling like we need something new it's been so long since we had a new character we need some new content right now in overwatch but there are a few lights at the end of the tunnel so let's talk about some of the things that we can expect to see at blizzcon february 19th that's coming up and some other things that blizzard is working on that might at least alleviate some of our despair some of the waiting that's going on right now while we wait for overwatch to drop so first off activision blizzard one of the things that they are working on that they have made substantial developments on are other intellectual properties they said they have made significant progress on in development titles for other key intellectual properties and they expect quote to fuel further growth in 2022 and beyond with these properties and these properties are actually talked about or rumored to also be shooters and they pulled a lot of the development development resources from the overwatch team to work on these things so maybe we'll see something like that at blizzcon some other type of game most likely a shooter not entirely sure why they would spread themselves so thin when overwatch 2 is something that we all really want but they're working on other properties so maybe this is something that can at least tie us over and it's really looking like they're trying to branch out into other big genres maybe even attack shooter not entirely sure what they're really thinking of here definitely let me know what you think their other intellectual shooter properties 
party would be in the comments down below. But let's talk back to Overwatch. BlizzCon, February 19th. There is nine days until BlizzCon happens. And according to Metro, like he said, there might be multiple heroes that we get to see. Heroes that we haven't seen at all before. Now, these are not going to be heroes that are probably going to be put in the game of Overwatch. These are going to be heroes that we just get to see. Hey, a year from now, you get to play these heroes. Not heroes that we get to put our hands on. Which is cool, but frustrating, right? It doesn't really matter that we can see these heroes. I mean, that's kind of cool. We can look at them. We can acknowledge them. But if we don't get to play them anytime soon, what does that matter? So, what is the big thing that they're going to give us right now? Well, it's looking like all signs point to Overwatch being free to play. Remember, Activision is the ones behind the Call of Duty series. And they have actually stated multiple times in the past that they want to bring the Call of Duty business model to their other IPs. Now, we can't automatically assume that that's going to be Overwatch. But it does make a lot of sense when you think about it. So, let's really break it down. First, talking about what the Call of Duty business model is and then how would that be applicable to Overwatch? So if you look at the Call of Duty business model, they have a completely free-to-play Warzone game. You want to go play Warzone, the Battle Royale mode, that is 100% free. But if you want to actually get the privatized multiplayer, you want to get the campaign, you want to get special perks and guns and skins, a lot of that is going to be behind a paywall. Now, I don't think that they're going to paywall anything competitive, and I actually do not think they're going to paywall multiplayer in any way. What it's looking like is it's actually going to be a lot more similar to the Fortnite business model. And for those of you who don't know how that works, is Fortnite has special skins and they have battle passes that you can play money for to get special cosmetics. And people love cosmetics and that's basically what they do. They'd put a lot of special work into these cosmetics. They'll cost you an arm and a freaking leg, but they'll be cool and a lot of people will probably get them. And that's how they'll make a lot of their money. And there'll be a second layer on top of that, which is the campaign mode and story mode, which is probably going to also be tied to cosmetics, maybe in the form of a battle pass or something like that where you're going to get constant story mode updates and different missions that they're going to add on and a comprehensive story but you got to buy the official game i don't know how much it's going to cost but it's going to be completely separate from the multiplayer and the multiplayer is going to be something that's going to turn free to play anyone can get it anyone can download it if you have the old copy it doesn't really matter because you are going to get it no matter what you don't have to buy the copy and this does bring up some big problems but i also think it brings up some big solutions as well to some other problems that we've been having in the past first stuff let's talk about the good the good is free to play means a lot more people are going to start playing overwatch that is great for overwatch which player base is kind of dwindling i mean how many times have you as a tank player ended up in a rank that you don't really belong in when you're trying to queue competitive on top of that it seems that sometimes it takes a really long time to find a game and that's just because there's not as many people playing competitive as there used to be and overwatch as a whole has been on the downtrend still has a lot of casual players but the competitive aspect of the game is definitely dwindling and in the current year 2021 you can really not have a paid multiplayer competitive game i mean look at valent look at fortnite look at apex there's just so many games that are all free to play and overwatch kind of met the tail end of that before where they were like the last big competitive multiplayer game that was paid and then after that all of them were free and that's pretty much the future going forward if you want your game to see a lot of traction you want a lot of people to play your game focus on making it free to play get that maxed out numbers and then make money on the back end with things like cosmetics that seems to be the new way that the games are going and it makes a lot of sense if you think about it with overwatch because they need to do something that can really bring back overwatch from the brink because right now it's really struggling they get a lot of people a lot of new people trying the game a lot of new people addicted and then all of a sudden in like a year they drop overwatch 2 and a lot of people of course can still just play overwatch 2 for free because it's still going to be that free to play model unless you want to do all that extra stuff and get all that extra cosmetics and things like that so all in all i think free to play is going to be a net positive for or overwatch but let's talk about some of the big negatives that do come with making a game free to play most importantly it's smurfing now i know console players have had this problem a lot but with pc players in particular not quite as much and it's just the unfortunate nature of making a game free when a game is free you can just make unlimited accounts right and with overwatch they have never taken this cheating problem really seriously they've never put a lot of resources into the cheating problem and i don't know why they would all of a sudden start doing that now now, but when they make the game free to play if they don't deal with the cheating problem cheating is gonna go up by like 10 to 30 percent i almost guarantee it now another problem that comes with free to play is fairly rewarding or awarding people that actually bought the game with something because if you bought the game and then you know a couple months later the game is now all of a sudden free what do you get out of that you paid money for the game and all these other people just get to play it for free and that might make people 
feel a little bit, you know, slighted, right? It's not fair. Well, as someone who has personally bought like nine Overwatch accounts for some reason, I don't really care if they give me anything for Overwatch. I'm just glad that it's going to be free to play. And of course, I can make new accounts in the future if I want to. And even though I'm probably not going to, back when I did buy the accounts, I bought them for a specific reason. And I wanted to also support the Overwatch development team. I wanted to support the game as a whole because I really did like the game. I really enjoyed it. I probably put in tens of thousands of hours at this point. So the fact that I'm getting slided a little bit of money, not that big of a deal for me. But if you just bought the game, I can see how you get upset for the game becoming free if you literally just purchased the game. But I bet you that maybe recent buyers will get some sort of either cosmetic or maybe a couple of free loot boxes. I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully they give you something because I know that this has been a talking point on Reddit and things like that where people are kind of mad that they're getting a little bit slighted. But definitely let me know what you think about that and just the free to play model in general. Are you mad that Overwatch is going free to play? Or do you think that this is something that needs to happen if Overwatch 2 is not dropping for a year do you think the game will die if they don't make the game free to play i really want to know your opinion about all of this and definitely let me know in the comments down below what character do you think they will actually spoil and what will their abilities be smash that like and subscribe if you like the video and go to the game leap website in the links down below for everything you possibly need to climb if you've been hard stuck at any rank whether that's silver gold plat diamond it doesn't matter it's with our special 50 percent off valentine's day sale do yourself a favor go check it out in the links down below but thanks so much for coming by that's all i got for you today i'm coach and of course, until next time.